Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome to a brand new series of Dyson Sphere program. I've heard about this and several people have pointed it out to me and said it's an awesome game. So I've gone and bought a copy and decided to try it out for myself. Really liked it and here we are with a brand new series because I liked it that much. Uh, I have already tried to start recording this, but it keeps crashing as soon as I go to load a new game. So we're going to have to sort of skip part of the intro and then jump back into it so that it doesn't crash, unfortunately. So I'm going to go new game right here. And there is a star cluster right here. That's the cluster seed that I've got up here. What does that say? That is... 11159511. I'm not changing any stats. I'm not changing anything else at all. I'm just leaving it as it is. And we're going to jump into game. Here Welcome we go. to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Right, so that's our first star that we're going past. And our first planet will be up here somewhere. Planet that I first landed on when I was doing my, um, like, first Everything playthrough. here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Right, by the way, this is absolutely stunning, this planet. I don't think I need to do anything at the moment, I think I just leave it and it, it, it does it itself, but... Oh, no, I, I, I do do something now. So I start steering towards it. I think it takes over again, autopilot. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's going to autopilot its way in just there. Hopefully it's going to work. Down it goes. And there's like a load of resources and stuff that we can go and use. Excellent. And there we are. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Right, we're going to use Optimus Prime right here to travel beyond the stars and create now miracles. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. Right click. There we go. Okay, so no resources here will be wasted. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Right, well, I'll do a series of commands. You receive here. several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen to open the cabin to view them. I'll do that in a sec. All right, he's, he's, he's busy harvesting a load of trees and stuff down there. Uh, we want the inventory button down here so we can take items, split items, and so on and so forth. Get rid of that one. And you can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. There you go. Like that. You feel sick yet? Motion sickness? There. Right, you've got tutorials over here as well that we can go and use. We'll go and have a look at them in just a second. This in here is copper right there. As more copper over there. That's coal in that one. There's iron just over there, which is nice and close, Yet actually. you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. I'll be honest, I'm using this with a headset, 
And his voice is all coming out of one ear. Uh, everything else is centralized, but with his voice coming out of one ear, it sounds really weird. And I don't like that. I'd like to be able to centralize his voice, but I can't really do it. Tech tree. Dyson Sphere program is already done. Main quest over here. So main quest, let me just realize, that runs up through the middle there. And then everything else is like surpluses, extras. Electromagnetism right in here. So I need to make 10 magnetic coils to be able to do it. Activate. Use inventory item. I don't have any. Uh, double click to view there. So I, I can go and make in uh, these magnetic coils apparently. So that one right there and here. Now that will produce five. Oh no, there's five seconds I think to produce. Right, what's that done? That's, that's actually made two of them. Yeah, we, we do two. Yeah, so, oh, I can make five in total. That's that's, that's the, the grand total of the ones that I can go and make. So I've, I've made all of those, and we've done the research in here. So come out of that. I'm just pressing escape to come out of anything. And then done. Electromagnetism research complete. Wind turbines. Tesla towers. And mining machines. Okay. Right, our dude will probably... There he is. You have created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. That's the construction menu down there. You've got various different ones. I'm just going to go and read these a little bit, because some of this, like, this will give you the background and the story of what we're doing here. So we'll just go in this very quickly. In the future, human beings enter the ranks of advanced civilizations, and the power of science and technology brings rapid development. People use virtual reality to iterate space and time, create a virtual universe much larger than the real world, and gradually transfer human consciousness to the virtual universe. If you don't want to hear what I'm reading out, I'll put a timestamp. You can skip forward to that. The operation of the virtual world requires supercomputing power. For this reason, human beings, dis uh, human beings circle the sun and create a supercomputer, the center brain, hoping to use its powerful computing power to expand the virtual home. The computing power of the center brain gradually reaches its limit because the number of consciousness continues to grow. If you want to accommodate more consciousness, you it needs more energy supply. So the Cosmo launched an engineering project codenamed Dyson Sphere Program. Sending engineers to the real world to build the Dyson Sphere to provide continuous and stable energy for the center brain. As a member of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will control the mecha on an unknown journey by using the terminal. You need to gather resources, plan and design production lines, gradually realize full automation starting from scratch, and transform your factory from a small workshop developing into a magnificent intergalactic industrial empire, and finally build a great miracle, the Dyson Sphere. Builders of great civilizations, in this process you are bound to encounter many difficulties. After all, the universe is so large that anything can happen. However, your creativity and imagination will help you accomplish this great goal. The entire cluster will become the cornerstone of human civilization under your plan. Well, that sounds good. What is a Dyson Sphere? As civilization continues to develop, the demand for energy will in continue to increase in the vast universe. Develop the star's energy... Uh, becomes an inevitable choice for civilization's development when the energy on the planet can no longer sustain. In 1960, Dr. Freeman Dyson put forward a legendary concept, the Dyson Sphere Theory. Dyson Sphere is an imaginary space giant that can surround the entire star, obtain most or all of its energy output. According to the classi classification of the Kardashev Civilization level, first level civilization can develop and utilize all the resources of a planet on which it inhabits. Secondary civilization can collect the energy of the entire star system and even allow the matter to break the speed limit of light. Third level civilization can master and use all the energy of the entire galaxy. Possessing the ability to build the Dyson Sphere indicates that humanity will move towards the secondary civilization. For the note, for just just for a note, uh, humanity at the moment is generally considered to be about 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 on the Kardashev scale on account of how much energy we can use from our own planet. So that's where we're at at the moment. We're not even a first level civilization. We haven't even gotten that far. Kind of makes you proud, doesn't it? 
go to the resource command. We've already been over that. Building mine machines, vein coverages. This is just instructions for how to play the game, so we can ignore those. Right, let's get rid of those. And now we need to build a mining machine. So we're going to gather up that mining machine right there. And for those of you, you who... You can use the R key wait. to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. Okay, right. The more veins rotate covered, yada, the faster yada. the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grit snapping, try holding down the shift key. Right, I don't want to ignore grid snapping. I'm going to... No, I don't want to bring that all the way back there. I want to put that one to there, I think. Or do I? I'm not sure. We want to press the R key to rotate. How much further in can I take this? Well, I kind of want to go there, I think. That's going to give me a good chunk of it. Uh, yeah, welcome back to those of you who wanted to skip out on the reading, by the way. Right. I need... Now, something I'm not sure about. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal works. Power is down here. Right, by the way, it said soil pile right there. When I placed something down, it gave me soil pile. I have no idea what soil pile is yet. I haven't gotten that far. So for power, we have the wind turbine and we have the Tesla tower. The wind turbine generates power, as you would guess, and the Tesla Tower, that uh, power transmission facility, can extend the power supply range of the power grid with a certain connection length and supply area. So I'm going to take that one right there, and I'm going to run over here into the middle. Uh, actually, that probably is good. I was going to say, I'll run over here into the middle out of the way. That probably is going to be a little bit in the way. So I'm going to put the wind turbine there, like that. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. And now we can go take the Tesla tower. If you look right there, you can see in the bottom corner there is a number one. There is how many Tesla towers we currently possess. So those you bring out, they're basically the power lines for this game. The um, Factorio equivalent. They run out done from here. building the first power transmission facility. Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. There's our little beastie boy working away down there. Power grid information network number one. Generation capacity 300 kilowatts. Consumption demand 420. Which is just Dickety been wonderful, isn't it? So we actually could do with another one of those. Uh, we will build one. If you want to make something, if I just click, it says not enough items. You've got to double click and then you open up the replicator and this allows you to go and build stuff. I don't have magnetic coils at the moment. And unfortunately, if I click over here on components... Oh, yes, I do. I have enough to go and make those. So I, I don't need to worry about that. I can just go on here. That, I can click on that one, but it won't let me produce because I don't have the magnetic coils. I've actually got to go and physically make them first, and I can't make those because I need magnets. Now, magnets don't get made from the iron ingots. You've actually got to get those sourced directly from the iron ore, which does make it a little bit more difficult to go and do. So we're going to go over here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift right click on a couple of these items here, like this. I'm also going to shift right click on several of these resources and trees. Oops. Actually, mean to stop him from doing his work. What are you doing? I don't know why he's not harvesting that. Oh, it's because he it, it, it tried to get there via the tree and then he got a bit confused and he couldn't go and do it. Uh, put that one. And then there and there. And you. And that one. Is that everything? There's little bits of gravel that are left over as well. I'm just going to like clear a few of these out of the way just so that we don't have to worry about them. And then I'm going to go over here. Right, and we grab a little bit of iron ore. So while he's doing that, I'm then going to double click on here. I'm going to open up this one. I'm going to go into components. And now I can make some stuff 
with the magnet coil. So if you increase this, it does actually remember this number, which I found quite cool. So then I can just click on that one and it'll automatically start producing 10 of those. And then I can get another 10 being produced right there. I've already got 10 iron ingots over here, but I'm going to get him to make 10 of those as well. So if we just go up through there like that and then produce... And then once these magnetic coils, uh, sorry, the, once the magnets are done, you'll also go and make a few of them right there as well, which is going to be rather useful. So I'm up to 15, 16, I'm going to get 20 iron ore a minute. I don't know how many I'm going to need. Right, Mecha Core's energy is insufficient. Energy is required in all Mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the Mecha Panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Here we have the fuel chamber. Now, that's the energy bar down here. It does automatically replenish at a fairly slow rate. But what you can do is you can go and take, say, plants right here. And you can dump them in and you can use those to physically recharge. I can also use the logs right here and I can use them for recharging. Right there, I've got some organic crystals, a high-grade chemical product used to produce higher intensity, uh, higher strength crystals with a crystal structure. It can also be directly gathered from rare organic crystal veins. And you can use them for um, energy. Yeah, see, you, you, can, you can build them. You, you can make these. And you can use them as energy, so you can drop them straight in there. And you can use that to charge up your um, your, your suit at the same time. So we're gonna we're gonna use them for that at the moment. Right there, I've got grid and mecha core stuff. This this all um, stuff that we don't really need to worry about. So what was I doing now? Oh, um, I wanted to make a bit more power because we haven't quite got sufficient power. Not enough items. I need to open this one up. I've got you in here and I'm going to make one wind turbine. I'm going to save the other stuff that I'm holding on to. I get rid of that and then as soon as one is made I can join it onto here. There. And I'm going to snap that into a grid there too close to another wind turbine. And you've got to be quite... You've got to actually have these quite a little way apart. So drop that one in there. It's removed the bit of stone, and then it's added to the soil pile, plus 8, so now I've got 1,750. No idea what the soil pile does, or how it works, right? I've, I've no idea about that. Let me just uh, come out of there. This one in here, I've now got 50 ore in there. I'm going to go and make another mining machine now, so that we can start mining the iron over there. I need to double-click and open this one up. And just make one. I've got all the materials right here that I need to build it. I just want to start doing some mining over there. I'm going to need a bit more power for that one. Which means that we're also going to want to go over here. So that's 300 kilowatts there. This one here when he's running flat out is 420. So as you can see, we do need more of these. Uh, I'll make two more of them so that we've got plenty of power. Now that I've got all the materials that I need, they do auto-build them. So long as I've got the ore that I'm carrying around, they'll auto-build everything that we could possibly want, and we don't need to worry about it in the slightest. So it's, it's nice, and like, I, I like that it is that clean and easy. It's very much like Factorio in that sense, and yes, we will be doing a lot of comparisons between this game and Factorio. It's only natural that both absolutely fantastic factory games and satisfactory will be mentioned although i haven't played that one for quite a while personally i know there are quite a few of you that were hoping that i would do a new series on factor on satisfactory um i will probably well i will go back to satisfactory eventually i'm just not doing it yet it's um i got other things on my radar at the moment, including this one. I was actually going to go to Satisfactory. Then this game came out, and so I went to this one instead. But, um, yeah, so we, we still have... i got Silicon Ore right there. I'm not even sure what that's for. Go over to the Gathering, and we'll go to a mining machine right here. Now, you can zoom out by quite a way, and if you have a look around the planet here... Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Doesn't this planet just look amazing? And you can get all sorts of stuff in here. Let's zoom in a little bit in here and we'll get a mining machine. And we're going to pop that one down there. Now the more of these 
bits that you get into the mining range, the better. So I want to put that one down there and get all of this lot on this side. We'll start those working. And then I want to come over here. Now, if you go over water, you do actually fly. You can't go faster at the moment as there isn't like a speed boost tech but I, I believe there is one that you can research later and research is quite an important thing we want to start working on all of our research things in here plus you've got upgrades in there so universe exploration mecha core this one right here requires those blue things just there we're not ready to make them science matrix we we haven't started on those so we got the mecha core right here plus 40 mega joules max core energy and all that requires is a bit of iron and a bit of copper. Now, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to wait. I want to get this bit sorted out first. And I may want some of that. See? Right in here, I need to make some more of those. Uh, I can make five of them. I'm going to make uh, three. I'll make three of those right there. And then we'll see if that's going to be enough to actually allow us to go and put these down. So there's one, and we'll just bring that one out. And I just want to take it out as far as I can, like that. Right, so we've got one right there. And you'll see we've got little robots that come out of our suit to place stuff down. And I love that detail. I absolutely love that detail. And I'll pop that one down there. It should be close enough. There we go. Now we've got the mining machine up and running over there and then I want to run back over this way and I'm going to put down another wind turbine so that I'm ready to do that and then once I've done that now what I'd actually like is to start building up a square grid of wind turbines but I'm going to wait on that one where can I put you that's the closest point that I can go and put it so I've now got four wind turbines there's two turbines for each of these machines I'll go into you, and I'll take 50 out of there, and then I'm going to run over. Now, what I don't like is when I open, like, it, I don't auto-close. Oh, I'm far enough away from the mining machine. It does close. You just got to get far enough away from it in order for it to actually close. So, we go back into the tech tree in here, and we go to that mecha core. We get that 40 megajoules of extra energy. I activate right there. Now, I don't have either of those in there and i'm using inventory items for it we go back to tech in here and we've got some other things in there that we want to get including the basic logistics system so i need to get these in order to get that you can go there replicator or i can press f to bring up the replicator and iron ingot right there i don't want 55 i want 20 of those so i'm going to go one and two and then we're going to switch over to the copper and I bring that, I'll put that up to 10 times and go 1 and 2 in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in one more copper and I'm going to add in one more lot of iron. I've still got six of those, so I'll also add in another 10 of these magnets. And that should be enough to sort of keep us ticking over at the moment. I'm uh, just waiting for that one there to finish out. The copper is busy making. It won't take long for those to go through and do whatever they got to do. While they're doing that, let's go and grab a bit more of this. I haven't played this game very much. I know that there are probably those of you out there who are wondering what on earth I'm doing. And I'm, I'm like doing this wrong. I literally started the game, realized just how much that I'm going to enjoy doing this. And I stopped. I got to like the first level of research tech. And that was it. I didn't go any further than that. So I really haven't done very much in the game up until now. So I'm, I'm sort of almost at the limit of my experience with this game. And I forgot to press shift when I was going through that lot. So yeah, almost at the limit of my experience with the game. I'm not quite. I do know a couple of extra items. There we go. Mecha core research, so 40 megajoules of core energy we have increased right there. So that's just give us a little bit extra in there, which is going to help things out immensely. Let him go through the trees a second. Okay, right. Sorry about that. Real life stepped in for just a moment and had to be dealt with. So 
Let's go and pick up uh, just a couple more things here. I don't know if there's a way to, like, auto-clear large areas of stuff like this. So you can just, like, chain them together, pressing shift. And I think you can just plonk things down in the middle of them all anyway without too much trouble. So what we want to do, we, we've gotten the extra energy in there. I'm going to drop into the mecha um, panel. I got no fuel in there. This one right here was hydrogen fuel rod. That's what we got out of the um, thingy that we had, the, like the landing pod to start with. So I'm going to drop those five in there. It always uses it up from the right hand side back to the left hand side. Uh, I'm going to take some plants. Uh, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to put logs in here as well like this. Put in 109 of them. So now I've got absolutely loads of fuel in there. Next up, I'm going to go into the tech tree. And we've got all these different items in here. Electromagnetic matrix uh, unlocks the science matrix and that bit right there. We've got automat automatic metallurgy in there with a smelter, which, yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic. And then we've got basic logistics up here. Again, another really useful thing. So I'm going to start from the top. I'll work down. We'll go with the basic logistics system first. I'm going to activate that. I need 10 of these and 10 of these. So I'll come out of here and we'll just go into our replicator. I've got a load of ore of both types of ore. So I just need to build these things in here. Now that one, I need the iron. It should be fine. It should actually do that automatically. So I'm going to go 10 of those. Right there, and then I need 10 of these as well. So I go into there, and that takes two pieces of iron and one piece of copper. So I haven't got quite as many of those, because I haven't got very many iron. I'll run over and get some of them in a minute. I'll just set 10 of these making. Uh, one, two. I'm going to set 20 of those making, and then I'm going to go back to there. I'm going to set another 10 of those making, like that, so that I've got everything building currently in order to be able to go and make that. Then we can run over here and we can gather up the materials in this one. If I just have the 50 out of that one. And then I run back over this way and I get the 50 out of this one. You can... Right, if I right click on it, does that go and pick it up? No, it just goes to it. If I right click on one of those, it will go and pick it up. So I just go over to that one. Like that, and it will just get take me over to it, and then we can open it up like that. And the manual research right there, that's just about done. Last one, and then that will be finished. Ideal basic logistics research done. So, there you we have go. received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Right, sounds nice and easy. I would like those to close a little bit sooner, but anyway. Uh, next up, I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to automatic metallurgy over there, and I'm going to activate that one as well. So I do need to go and make some more magnetic coils to be able to get that one. So we'll go back into the replicator, and we'll click there on the magnetic coils. And I've got enough to be able to make 65 of them. So I'm going to make 20 of them. One and two like that. That gives me enough to make these here as well. The circuit boards. And I've, I've got 20 of those. So I'll have 10 left over after I've done this. Click on that. How much have I got? Another 45. So I'll make another 10 circuit boards in there. Just so that we make sure we've got everything that we might possibly want. Oh, 10 actually gives a full stack of 20. Is it, yeah, it does two at a time. Right, anyway, uh, that's, that's good. We, we've got those making. I've got logistics in here. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you'd like to help support the channel, then please check out the affiliated links in the description down below. There's one for Nitrado, who supply gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. There's also Fanatical, who sell a lot of different computer games. If you use the link and also that code in the description, you will actually get a small discount applied to you, and I earn a commission on anything you buy, so you are supporting me by supporting your own gaming habit. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.